Hello, people of the Earth, and welcome back to Quick Save TV. My name is Mike, and today we're doing something a little bit unusual. Uh, we had a new teaser. I've been playing a lot of League again because I finally fixed my computer, and now I can finally play the game without crashing every other game, so I don't lose LP for no reason. And uh, they teased a new character called Camille, and I was cute. I think it's my League. I'm just gonna um, close it for now. Yes. Okay, so back to the Camille thing. Um, the new character teaser in form of a comic. And I was... Um, I, I really like the design. Right? She's really cool. Uh, she looks like a hybrid of Deus Ex and uh, uh, Kingsman. Which is, I didn't watch Kingsman. I was recommended to watch it now. And I, I see it's a great movie. I, I really like it. I, I, think, I think I would really like to watch it. And so I was curious to see what kind of abilities would she have. And, you know, it's very hard to see from a comic, etc. Because we, nothing is set in stone, you know. And comic is kind of pushing the boundaries, much like um, uh, character teasers in the past. Like, for example, with Echo, he was rewinding time all the time. But he doesn't do it in-game, right? The time rewind is an ulti. But still, with Jinx, in her cinematic, she was flying in on rockets. She obviously doesn't do that, you know what I mean? She does a lot of damage, but not in the same way. But still, I want to take a look at the character and just try to figure out what kind of abilities would she use. So, uh, from start, from the start, let's take a look at her very closely, right? She has, we, we see, completely mechanical legs. Right? Uh, both of her legs are completely mechanical. And her eyes are also augmented. Her only human body parts are basically her upper and lower torso. And her hands. That's it, right? Everything else is augmented. And if we take a look, closer look at the comic, you should definitely read it yourself. I'll uh, leave the link in the description. We can see that she is on a case to chase somebody, to assassinate someone, basically. So, she's an undertaker. She's an assassin. So, it's very likely so this new character would be a mid-lane assassin type. I don't think she would be a good jungler. I don't know, right? She might be. Um, and I'll try to make a case for it. But she looks like an assassin. I think she would be perfect for mid lane. From the way we see her using her legs all the time, it seems that her Q would be connected with her legs because her legs are basically blades. And I think that um, it would be something similar to Riven's ability to um, do a triple jump with her own Q, right? So it would be similar to Riven, but maybe a little more pinpoint because her attacks are kind of like very precise, very graceful. So something similar, something like a hybrid between Riven and Yasuo. And if we keep looking at her, here we see her shooting the basically... Um, how would you call these things? Um, whatever. Wires that would allow her to traverse long distances. So this would be her ability to move about. I think it would be her E. Something along those lines. Um, how mobile she will be remains to be seen, right? Will she be able to move like Nautilus with an anchor? Will she be able to fly over things like Talon does now? I don't know, right? But it's definitely she will have a mobility thing. And her legs will be a primary source of damage. And so we already have a Q and E covered. Um... That's what I think it will be, at least. And uh, if if you if you pay attention to the comic, the way she moves about, the way she is um, acting, she is she's moving about with extreme grace, with extreme precision. So that leads me to believe that she would be a crit based character, much like Yasuo, right? Yasuo is very graceful. You can see it in his movements, right? And uh, he works very well with crits for obvious reasons, right? Double crit, etc. In case of uh, Camille, I think it will be a similar case. I don't think she will be quite like Yasuo, but I think she would be um, related to critical damage because of the way she moves about in this comic. And so, this ability that she uses to move around, I don't know how it will work. Maybe she can repel up like Elise, but I don't think it's like, it's probably just a comic thing. And the next thing is the way she uses her uh, legs to attack enemies, right? She debilitates them, she, she prevents them from dealing damage to her. I think it would be something similar to the way Urgot works. Urgot does damage to you and you cannot deal damage back because he applies a debuff. That's why Urgot's such an oppressive um, uh, bot lane uh, champion, if you, if you apply him correctly. Now... And the way she moves around, it, it literally, like, I feel like it's going to be a new Riven, you know what I mean? Jumping all over the place, but maybe not doing as much AoE damage as Riven does. And uh, the last thing, that, uh, the last two things, right? When she's finally fighting this guy, and he <clears throat> uses everything he has on her, right? The massive barrage of damage. He's very similar to Victor in that, like, this guy, this Zonite guy. Um, she uses some kind of shield. Right? And I don't know what kind of shield it's going to be. Is it her ultimate? Like preventing some damage and amplifying her damage? Is it her W? Is it her passive? I don't know, right? But I would I would suggest it's an ultimate because it would make sense. Because 
the final showdown, she's fighting this guy, she's using this thing to nullify damage, or maybe amplify her own damage, or whatever, I don't know, right? Uh, but <clears throat> it definitely looks like a strong ability. I don't think it's gonna be passive like on Yasuo, but you never know, right? And she's definitely melee, right? For obvious reasons. She doesn't really have any ranged damage. She's using her legs as a primary source of damage. She's using her legs for mobility again. And her arms are kind of just like there, you know what I mean? Oh, I have arms too, but she's not doing anything with them. And uh, the final thing, right? The final bit of information is here. When uh, she kills the guy with one swift motion. This is another proof, I think, of uh, her having a high crit-related uh, thing, because it looks like a critical thing. I mean, Yasuo would do something like this, right? Yasuo's full crit thing. So, um, Camille will be something of, in my opinion, something of a hybrid of uh, Riven, Talon's mobility, uh, Yasuo's crit-related um, damage, and she looks very similar, like... She looks very similar to these champions, it's very different in a way she works, but she's definitely going to be an attack damage assassin. So I don't know how much of it is going to be correct, but this is my prediction. So her Q is going to be moving about attacking with legs, her W is going to be amplifying damage or giving her shield, her E is going to, in, in a crit sense, or like unlocking her potential, her E is going to be her mobility um, uh, ability using her legs with these uh, wires and such, her ulti... I think will be something along the lines of um, nullifying massive amounts of damage or amplifying her own while, uh, you know, remaining invulnerable for a few seconds. Her passive, uh, it remains to be seen, right? Maybe something related with running around and then swiftly attacking. Maybe something related with critical damage. Maybe something related with penetration, right? Because, I mean, it's it's really open for grabs at this point. So, this is my opinion, right? I hope it wasn't too long. If you have a good idea, please let me know. Let's see, let's see how much of my predictions will uh, come out true.